What's going on guys? It's your boy John and Liquidator coming back with another video and it looked like Deion Sanders Jr. definitely told us that this was going to happen. Guys, for this one here, we got to go all the way up the boulder. Let's get it. Let's go. When it comes to the Colorado Buffaloes and Coach Prime content, Well Off Media and Deion Sanders Jr. is the top dog. There is no arguing about this, bro. He dropped bangers every single day, and his content can't be touched with a 12-foot pole, bro. Well, I'm here to tell you, Bucky definitely gave us a fur warning about his content changing, bro. Now, I know a lot of you guys is like, John, what are you talking about? I'm talking about this tweet here. That was released a few weeks ago. Now, when Deion Sanders Jr. first dropped this tweet, I had immediately reacted to it, that he was changing the content. And I guess everybody did not get the memo, bruh. So we got to go down memory lane. This tweet stated, just FYI, now that the season is here and we're game planning for opponents, what being shown is very selective. Most videos start in the middle of the rep and are extremely zoomed in. And the best of what is going on on isn't going to be shown i'm not about to give away formations player tendency stop right there player tendency and we gotta remember that little phrase right there player tendency now he go on to say what we excel at slash need to work on and etc none of that also, there could be times where the defense destroyed the offense, but scoring TDs look better for the video, so that's what I show. Now, I know some of you guys might remember this, and a lot of you might be wondering right now, John, why is you making this video? Because of this comment right here. He stated, John, where is Kermani? Hold up, wait a minute. Now, y'all remember when I told you to hold on to player tendencies? He don't want to show all that. Now, I've been getting a lot of comments just like this one throughout these last couple weeks. Now, I'm not finna get on here and say, where is this player? Where is that player? Guys, Deion Sanders Jr. told us out his own mouth, he's not going to be showing everything. Now, something else just stuck out to me. Yesterday when I was on live, somebody pointed out that the fight could maybe be scripted because Coach Prime is trying to build a national fan base, which is a good theory, but I just think this is all part of football. And we cannot let the big media control the narrative. They've been blowing this thing way out of proportion. Teammates fight every day, bruh. This ain't nothing new. This is part of the chemistry building process. Now, going back to Kermani McClain, bro. We all know damn well Kermani McClain ain't quit this team, bruh. They ain't showing him. Why? Because they don't want nobody to pick up on what? His player tendencies. Get down in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think about this. Keep them bells on because you know I'm coming back with some more heat. And like always, man, shake the haters off. I'm out of here. Peace out. This is ridiculous. You cut me. You should have seen by now. You cut me. Yeah, they talking about it. We coming. They doubting us. We coming. They think saying. Think it's a game. We coming. I don't give a damn what they say. You best believe. We coming.